Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Deep Prep. Tonight we're continuing our Italian series and we're going to be making spaghetti carbonara with fresh Italian pasta that I showed you how to make in that video. So go ahead and click on that link, of course, after you watch this episode, and let's get started with the cooking. First we're going to start off with some English peas. Got a lovely piece of Italian pancetta, some Parmigiano Reggiano, some heavy cream, and of course, our fresh spaghetti that I just rolled out. Delicious. And then right at the end, we're gonna add one egg. So I went down to my butcher and I asked him for a half inch piece of pancetta. Pancetta is kind of like Italian bacon. It's seasoned a little bit different than American bacon, but it's the same thing. It's cured pork belly. Piggy goodness. Here I've got my English peas and I've got some blanching water. Now all I've done with this blanching water is brought it to a boil and dropped a gang of salt into it. Like literally a gang. You want this water to taste like the sea. So let's drop them in. Cook these English peas for just about a minute. Perfect. We're gonna take these out. Put them into the ice bath to stop them from cooking. This is the perfect time of season for English peas because they're so sweet and they're just ready to come off the vine. They're gonna add some amazing texture to this dish also. This pan, what is going on? <laughs> okay, that hurts really bad. So I've got my pan here and our burner's nice and hot. I'm gonna throw it right in this hot burner. I put just a touch of vegetable oil in there to get the pancetta started. Our oil is nice and hot, we're going to throw in our pancetta. And remember, if you don't hear that sizzle, your pan's not hot enough. So once you get some good sear on this pancetta, I want you to turn the heat down a little bit and render out that fat. Now our pancetta has been perfectly rendered, but we want to tip out some of that fat so it doesn't grease up our sauce too much. And now it's time to add our heavy cream. I've got about three quarter cup here. Yayer! That sounds delicious. And now we're gonna turn our heat down to medium low, and we're gonna let this simmer and reduce for just about two minutes. Now our cream has reduced by about half of its volume, and what we're gonna do now is add in some grated cheese. So I'm gonna grate in just about two big tablespoons. And now we're gonna set that aside and cook our pasta. Now we've got our fresh spaghetti that we just cut earlier, and we're gonna drop it into the boiling salted pasta water. And this is only gonna take about a minute and a half, really quick. This pasta's been cooking about a minute and a half. Let's give it a taste and see if it's ready. That's perfect pasta. We brought our carbonara sauce back up to a boil real quick, and we're gonna add in the fresh spaghetti. We're gonna go right into the pan, and a bunch of that pasta water is gonna actually follow the noodles into the pan. So if it looks a little bit too thick, you're gonna be fine because the pasta water is gonna thin it out. So what makes this a true carbonara is the addition of this egg. We're gonna drop it in right at the last minute. We don't wanna scramble it, we just want it to emulsify with the sauce and the pasta water. It's gonna be delicious, creamy, gooey goodness. Now take your tongs and move it all around. And toss it. At the very last minute, throw in your blanched peas. That looks delicious. All right guys, let's give this pasta a taste. I love the creamy consistency of carbonara. It's unlike anything else you've probably ever tasted.
Mm. That's so good. I feel very special to be eating this right now. Is that too much cheese? <laughs>